Chapter Overview Electricity plays a very important role in our daily lives. It lights, heats and cools our homes and also performs a number of routine jobs for us. Most of the charm of modern life would be missing if there were no electricity. Let's now learn something about this most important source of energy and the things associated with it. Baba, what are these things? Is it windmills? Yes, my son. They are windmills. I never knew that Coimbatore has so many windmills. By the way, what is the use of these windmills? My son, Tamil Nadu is one of the wind power hubs of South Asia. It generates 40% of India's wind power. Windmills are used to generate electricity. Baba, does this mean that the electricity that we get is generated by windmills? No, the production of electricity is done far away from cities as electricity generation centers. These power plants depend upon water, thermal energy, wind or geothermal power. But Papa, I know electricity is important to us but I don't know how it is produced. Can you tell me how electricity is produced? Okay, I'll explain both about electricity and also how it is produced. Generation of Electricity In the fossil fuel plants or power stations, fuel is burned in a large boiler. The heat from the fire boils water and turns it into steam. The steam is at very high pressure. It spins the blades of a turbine, just like the wind makes a pinwheel turn. A long shaft attached to the turbine turns a generator, which makes electricity. Generator steps up transformer. Electricity from generating stations is stepped up to higher voltages by means of a generator step up transformer, that is GSU for transfer over transmission lines to reduce electricity loss from conductor heating and allows electricity to be transferred economically over long distances. Substation step-down transformer When the electricity arrives where it is needed, it passes through a substation where other transformers decrease the voltage to levels that can be used by factories, shopping malls and schools etc. Distribution lines on the grid mounted on poles or buried underground, carry electricity from the substation to where it is used. Smaller transformers mounted on poles or concrete pads on the ground in your neighborhood further reduce the electrical voltage to 110 to 220 volts in order to be used safely in your house. Electricity typically enters your house through a meter that measures the amount of electricity you use. It passes through an electrical control panel which controls its distribution through wires in the walls and finally to lights, wall switches and outlets. When you switch on or plug in an appliance, you complete the circuit from the power plant and electricity operates the lights and appliances in your home. Generator. A simple generator consists of a coil of wire that rotates between the poles of a strong magnet. As the coil rotates, electric current is generated. In thermal power stations, steam is used to rotate the coil. Hot steam is allowed to fall on the blades of a turbine, which spin and turn the shaft, which in turn makes the coil to rotate. Steam is made by heating water, burning fossil fuels like coal, 
oil or natural gas. In nuclear power stations, splitting of uranium atom produces energy to heat water and thereby produce steam which in turn is used to rotate the turbines. In hydroelectric power stations, fast flowing water is used to run the turbines. Electric cell Electric cell The electric cell is a source of electric current. It is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Electric cell is a device that supplies electrical energy to devices that function using electricity. It has a small metal cap on one side and a metal disc on the other side. These two different metal plates are called electrodes. All electric cells have two terminals, a positive terminal and a negative terminal. The metal cap is the positive terminal of the electric cell and has a plus sign written on it. The metal disc is the negative terminal and has a minus sign written on it. These plates are kept inside a chemical called electrolyte which stores the chemical energy. Due to chemical action, one plate develops a positive charge and the other plate develops a negative charge and produces electric current. Types of electric cell There are two types of electric cell. Primary cells These are cells which provide current as a result of chemical reaction. Primary cells are intended to be used once and then discarded. They cannot be reused as the chemicals get used up when the cells are in use and cannot be recharged. In other words, the chemical reaction is irreversible. Example Cells used in clocks Torches Digital watches Calculators etc. Secondary cells These cells provide current as a result of chemical reaction and they can be recharged as and when required. They can be used many times. Here the chemical reaction is reversible and the electrical energy can be stored in it. They are also called storage cells. Example, batteries used in automobiles, cell phones, emergency lights, etc. Electric circuit Electrical current needs a path on which to travel. Another name for this path is a circuit. A connection that provides a path outside an electric cell. For the electricity to pass from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell is called an electrical circuit. The electric circuit provides a complete path for electricity to pass, that is, current to flow between the two terminals of the electric cell. The bulb glows only when current flows through the circuit. A circuit generally has A. A source of electric current, a cell or battery, a group of cell called battery. B. Connecting wires for carrying current. C. A device which uses the electricity, a bulb. Bulb is a device that convert electrical energy into light. D. A key or a switch, a component of circuits that stop or allow the flow of current. When the current flows, the circuit is said to be closed circuit. When the current does not flow, the circuit is said to be open circuit. A bulb glows only when the positive terminal and the negative terminal of an electric cell are connected to the two terminals of the bulb. If the wires from the bulb are connected to the same terminal, either positive or negative, then the bulb does not glow.
if the circuit is not complete, that is, if the loop is not closed, then electricity cannot flow through it properly. Sometimes the bulb may not glow even through the connections are properly made. This is because the flow of electricity is incomplete as the filament in the bulb is broken. A broken filament bulb is said to be few. Symbols of electric components An electric circuit is also described by using the conventional circuit symbols to provide a schematic diagram of the circuit and its components. Different components of electric circuit are shown by certain symbols. Use of standard symbol makes it easy to understand and represent by all. Some circuit symbols used in schematic diagrams are shown below. The circuit can be represented using the circuit diagram. Electric switch a switch is a simple device that either breaks the circuit or completes it. When the switch is in off position, then the circuit is not complete. The circuit is then called an open circuit and electric current cannot flow in this circuit. When the switch is in on position, then the circuit is complete as electric current flows in this circuit. The switches used in lighting of electric bulbs and other devices in homes work on the same principle. Conductors and insulators All materials do not allow electricity to pass through them. Materials that allow electricity to pass through them are called conductors. Materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called insulators properties of conductors conductors conduct electric current conductors have low resistance to electricity metals are good conductors of electricity electric wires are made of metals these electric wires act as conducting materials some common conductors that conduct electric current are copper silver, gold and aluminium. Copper is the most popular material used for wires, such as electrical plugs and sockets are made of conductors. Properties of insulators. Insulators do not conduct electricity. Insulators have high resistance to electricity. Non-metals are bad conductors or insulators of electricity. So covering of electric wires are made of non-metals. These coverings of electric wires act as insulating materials and protect us from electric shocks. Some common insulators are glass, air, plastic, cotton, thermocol, wood and rubber. Rubber and plastics are used for covering electrical wires, plug tops, switches, and other parts of electrical appliances which people might touch to prevent from electrical shocks are insulators. Heating effect of electric current Heating effect of current When electric current is allowed to flow through a wire, say nichrome wire, for a relatively longer time, the wire gets heated. This phenomenon is known as Heating effect of electric current The amount of heat produced depends on the duration and the quantity of current flow. Example, electric kettle, electric bulb, electric iron, electric toaster etc. Cause of heating effect of electric current All heating appliances have a wire which produces heat when current is passed, it is known as the heating element. This is the most important part of a heating appliance. The element is a coil of wire made of special material called nichrome 
which becomes very hot when current is passed. This heat is used to cook food as in an electric stove, heat water as in an electric kettle, electric heater etc. Inside an electric bulb, there is a thin coil of wire made of tungsten called filament. It gets heated and glows when the current flows through them. This heating effect is used in many appliances such as electric iron, electric heater, electric geyser, etc. Electric Fuse A fuse is a safety device used in an electric circuit and is used to limit the current in an electric circuit. An electrical fuse is the weakest part of an electrical circuit which breaks when more than predetermined current flows through it. The fuse safeguards the circuit and the electrical appliances from being damaged. The fuse wire is generally an alloy of lead and tin. 37% lead, 63% tin. It has a low melting point and high resistance. It is connected in series in the beginning of the electric circuits. Principle and Working The electric fuse works on the principle of heating effect of electric current. An electric fuse consists of a wire usually placed inside a glass or ceramic cartridge. The wire is made of a material that melts easily when heated. It is designed such that only certain amount of maximum current can flow through it. If the current exceeds this maximum amount, the heating in the wire causes it to melt. This breaks the circuit and stops the flow of current in the circuit. The thickness and length of the fuse wire depends on the maximum current allowed through the circuit. Reasons for excessive current Short circuit when live and neutral wire touches each other due to faulty insulation. Overloading due to connection of many devices to a single socket. Miniature circuit breaker. Miniature circuit breakers. A miniature circuit breaker is an automatically operated electric switch that protects an electric circuit during overload or short circuit. Circuit breakers are available in different sizes and can protect small household appliances as well as high voltage devices. Advantages of MCB over fuse Number 1. It automatically switches off the electrical circuit during abnormal condition of the network means in overload condition as well as faulty condition. The fuse does not sense but miniature circuit breaker does it in more reliable way. MCB is much more sensitive over current than fuse. Number 2. Another advantage is as the switch operating knob comes at its off position during tripping, the faulty zone of the electrical circuit can easily be identified. But in case of fuse, fuse wire should be checked by opening fuse grip or cut out from fuse base for confirming the blow of fuse wire. Number 3. Quick restoration of supply cannot be possible in case of fuse as because fuses have to be rewired or replaced for restoring the supply. But in the case of MCB, quick restoration is possible by just switching an operation. Number 4. Handling MCB is more electrically safe than fuse. Because of too many advantages of MCB over fuse units in modern low voltage electrical network, miniature circuit breaker is mostly used instead of backdated fuse unit. Only one disadvantage of MCB over fuse is that this system is more costly than fuse unit system. Magnetic effect of electric current Magnetic effect of current When electric current passes through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. This is the magnetic effect of electric current. 
Hans Christian Oster for the first time observed that a magnetic compass kept close to a wire carrying current showed deflection. Thus, he concluded that a wire carrying current behaves like a magnet. Magnetic compass. The pivoted magnetic needle will always point in the north-south direction. Electromagnet. Electromagnet. A material that behaves like a magnet when current is passed is called an electromagnet. Electromagnets are used in many appliances like electric motor, telegraph, telephones, electric bell, etc. Many toys have electromagnets inside. An electromagnet is formed due to the magnetic effect of electric current. This magnetic effect of electric current was discovered by Hans Christian Oster. The components required to create an electromagnet are two pieces of insulated copper wire, a nail, a battery containing two cells and some paper clips made of iron. Construction of an electromagnet Take a nail and wind a copper wire around it without any overlap as shown in the figure. Remove the insulation on the wire at the two ends. Connect one end of the wire to the battery to one terminal and the other to other terminal of the battery. Place the paper clips near the nail. When you switch on the current, the paper clips will cling to the nail. This is because the nail becomes an electromagnet. When the battery is disconnected, the nail is no more an electromagnet. The paper clips will not cling to the nail. Application of Electromagnet Electromagnets are used in medicines, toys, iron industry and most commonly in the electric bell. Cranes are used for lifting material, separating iron from scrap in industries and to lift cars. These work on the principle of the electromagnet. Electric Bell Construction and working of an electric bell circuit An electric bell consists of an iron core on which is wound a wire as a coil. One end of the coil is connected to one terminal of a battery and the other end to a steel rod that acts like a spring for the hammer touching the screw contact. The other terminal of the battery is connected to the screw contact with a switch in the middle. Working Electric current flows through the coil when the switch is on and the iron core acts as an electromagnet. The iron core attracts the hammer towards it. The hammer hits the bell and produces a sound. The circuit breaks at the screw contact when the hammer moves towards the iron core. At this point, the iron core ceases to be an electromagnet. The hammer is pulled back to its original position due to the spring action of the steel rod and then touches the contact again to complete the circuit. The circuit is completed and current flows through the coil again and the hammer strikes the bell again. The process repeats itself and you hear a ringing sound since the hammer keeps hitting the bell until the switch is released. Have you now understood the distribution of electricity to households and the other concepts that were related to electricity? Yes, Dad. You made this lesson so interesting and simple. Thank you. Children. Hope you all would have understood this lesson on electricity.